Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you with one question that I keep getting asked. I get asked this question as a female truck driver uh, in person. I get asked this question. I have gotten, I want to say I'm up to 22 emails about this question. And the question is, how is it being in a male dominated field, do you get hit on? Do you have to deal with getting hit on by men all the time as a female trucker looking like yourself? Here's the answer. Not as much as you think. Now, let me clear that up and I'm going to make this really quick, but it is so funny that this is what people think because you're female, because you are considered attractive, that that's all you deal with all day. It's people hitting on you, hitting on no, first of all, I am an attractive woman. I'm not the most attractive woman in the world. I am not everyone's type. I am not everyone's personality type. I am not every, I'm not everyone's uh, desire complexion wise, size wise. So I can only answer for myself. Now, if you really want a good answer for this question, you have to go through YouTube, look at all the other trucker babes and ask each one of them the same thing because each of our experience is going to be different. If a woman that is slim and lighter than me or slim and still my complexion or way larger than myself but with short hair and lighter or way larger than myself with long hair and darker than myself, I mean we all, uh, we have different bills. So it depends what men are, um, attracted to and where we are each of us are traveling um my experience i would say although i'm not everyone's type i find that i am more of people's type than i'm not yes i would say that um yes i do i get hit on indirectly a lot of times believe it or not being out in this industry these guys are somewhat intimidated you have to also think you're doing what they do so they know you have a certain level of strength within you most of us do it takes a lot to get through trucking school believe me don't let anyone tell you anything different when you see a woman that has gone through trucking school and she is not a typical tomboy that got a natural knack for doing things that males do it's not a lot of us like that uh, that chick has got a backbone, okay, because it it's something to get through. I'm not saying it's the worst thing. It's worse than going through law school, but it is definitely a journey, okay? If everyone was to tell you the truth, it's a journey. Everyone had that moment just about at some point during their training that they were like, I don't know if this is for me. I don't think I'm going to get through this. How come they could do it and I'm not doing it? Or if I'm having problems in this area, and she's not or he's not. So, But back to the question at hand. Yes, of course, if you carry yourself a particular way, you get hit on in everyday life. This is not just about trucking. Um, everyday life, people are trying to talk to I'm trying to adjust this camera, sorry. But in trucking, I'll tell you my experience. I get the indirect, oh, they try to find out first if I'm teaming or if I'm alone in the truck. And then when they don't ask, that question was kind of, you know, I'll just call it what it is, corny, because I just can't stand for people to approach me. I'm a real, I like it direct. You know, if you're going to come to my truck and you're trying to inquire if I'm available to date or what have you, just ask, you know, hey, are you single? Do you have someone or are you traveling with someone or do you have a man or whatever? It's a yes or no you know, answer. Um, but I don't carry myself to get hit on. Uh, when I say that, um, I'm not half dressed. I don't act available when I'm at truck stops. In fact, everyone, um, all my life has thought that I was always married, even when I'm single. They've always thought I was married. I've always been told that I carry myself as a kept woman, and I'm fine with that. Uh, I'd rather have that title than a lot of titles that are out here. So I'm cool with that. Um, but as far as getting hit on, people are moving and shaking. And with these new ELD laws, with electronic 
uh, logging. People don't have time to be messing around. Most of the time, you barely have enough time to get your shower, to get your truck fueled, and get your behind through all the traffic of where you are to get your load on time and get enough time to, to get there and take a breather and you're not rushing. So your mind, men's mind and women's mind are not so much on dating as you all would think. Yes, it's a male-dominated um, industry. I would definitely say that, but I am seeing more and more women out here. I don't want to use the term sisters because people always think you're just referring to black black women. And there are so many women of all ethnicities and races out here uh, in trucking now. Um, they look, there's an array of looks, okay? I see women in dresses. I see women looking like they're going to the club and they're over there letting down the trailer, <laughs> Okay, and then I've seen people dress like a dude. I mean, it is just an array. I've seen people just casual, cute, you know, casual. Uh, it doesn't matter. I've seen people with their hair done, not done, people with hats, you know, people with scarves, you know, you name it, it's out here. But what I can say is it's not harassing. I don't feel as though I get harassed. I get a lot of stares, and a lot of times, the what I read into it, when they stare at me so much or they turn their head when I look, Either one of two things, they're with someone and they're in a relationship and know they shouldn't be saying anything to begin with. And so they're just admiring. And I'm cool with that. You shouldn't say anything. I mean, we're, you're not. it's not going anywhere. You know, you, you're obligated to someone at home. Um, or sometimes they're just looking just because you look different than what they're used to seeing um, doing trucking, you know, in this industry. Or you may be wearing something that is just appealing to them. You may just look very nice that day. Um, a lot of times they're looking at me, wow, I want to watch her do this whole fueling up thing with her nails, you know. Um, sometimes they look at me, I get people, they will engage in conversation with me just to hear uh, does my accent or how they think I talk match my look. And so then I'll get people, they'll say to me, I knew from over there that you weren't from here or you weren't from the South or something like that. You know, they try to read you and uh, I guess they make a judgment call on whether, hey, that would be someone I'll get to know or they'll come at you with the whole, well, hey, you're going to need some trucking friends out here. There's nothing wrong with being friends. Mm hmm. Of course not. Everything starts with talking, baby. <laughs> but, uh, and it's true. I have a few male friends that I do talk to in trucking, and I strictly know them through trucking, did not know them prior to, and they have been lifesavers for me, okay? They've been trucking longer, or they've been places that I've been, or they've encountered some things I have not. They've helped me avoid streets and roads and Things that, hey, if you go, you are ever going to this store, don't go this way, don't go that way, don't do this, don't do that. Make sure you slide your tandems, make sure it's then, you know, the 11th hole, don't go through there, and you're in the 8th hole, you know, all of that stuff. So, um, and they are real friends. Now, I'm pretty sure, and I know some of them, yeah, they're attracted to you, but they also realize, hey, you know, if it doesn't turn out to be, that and then if it can't be that she's mad cool to just be friends with you know i love talking to her and we bounce and vibe off of each other and a lot of times we're all really having conversations about most of the time we are actually discussing how to get to the top of the food chain in this trucking industry how to become owner ops how to get your own um um authority um who has the best loads and talking about load boards and talking about past experiences and talking about where they want to be so a lot of people are really focused on what they're doing because this is not something this is not easy this is not something you get out here and take as a joke and waste your time you are at risk every day that you crank up that truck you are at risk of possibly losing your life or taking someone else's life depending on everybody's actions around you or yourself so um it's not to be taken lightly and i don't think this is an industry that now is there a lot of people they knock off fool around meet each other yes of course come on but that happens outside of a truck it has nothing to do with it but Again, like I said, if you guys want a true answer to that, you have to ask multiple women because every woman's experience is going to be different. You have to think you have some women that hop off the truck and she's throwing her behind left to right, 
looking back, flipping other hair. She wants attention. She's saying, hey, I'm available. What's up? I want to mingle, you know. And then that person is going to get a total different response than myself, okay? So um, all of that comes, it's a lot of things that come into play with that, okay, guys? But yes, if you are attractive, um, you almost could look like the bottom of somebody's shoe. In the truck industry, somebody going to holler at you because it is somebody for everybody, truly. And you have some people do not want nobody looking high maintenance like myself, <laughs> okay? Um, and you have some people, they do not want a challenge. You have some people, they do not want to work for anything. They want somebody to just say, because they say, Psst, she turns around. You wouldn't even, Psst. I wouldn't even blink at that, okay? But, you know, uh, there's different people for different situations and so it's going to be different for everybody i hope i've answered your question um it's not hounding yes you are um you i would say this industry there's probably a lot of flirting amongst trucksters yes trucksters look at that word hey that's my word y'all <laughs> yeah but it's probably a lot of flirting um it's a lot of looking um now believe it or not now i'll tell you guys what will surprise you that no one's asking me about what race do I get hit on the most? It's not black. I actually get hit on by more Caucasian men than I do black, believe it or not. And they are actually more direct. Go figure. I'm honest. Like, they've been very helpful. I get, uh, I've gotten a lot of tips from guys. Um, and they'll even say, you know, hey, if I wasn't married, you're you're a nice looking lady there, you know. <laughs> and I love I've had them purchase my meal. They've been in front of me checking me out unbeknownst to myself. I'm thinking, hey, he's a Caucasian guy, uh trucker dude. He's not even thinking about me. I'm not thinking about him. We're just in here trying to get something to eat. And little do I know, ladies like, uh yeah, the guy before you just paid for that. And then I look over to say thank you, and he's like, you know, and I'm just like Okay, well, thank you. And sometimes that's just a kind gesture of, hey, doing something nice for a lady. But then I've had some that actually say, hey, are you married? You know, or um, they're not all Southern, so I shouldn't keep using that um, that tone or that accent. But um, I've had them come over and start talking. Hey, when, you, when you're when you done, I don't want to interrupt you with what you're doing. You mind I speak with you when you get back to your truck? And I'm like... My first thing is about what, you know, <laughs> but that's with anyone. It's not just about because he's white, but it's like, what do you want? You know, so um, and then they'll they'll just ask you, like, are you married? Are you do you have a boyfriend or uh, are you with a trucker? Are you dating a trucker? Is he here? You know, is he in the restroom? Is he getting dressed? Is he fueling? You know, <laughs> all that stuff. So uh, but yeah, that would probably be probably shocking to I don't know why. I mean, we're in 2018, but I think what shocks me is sometimes the places that it happens, the places that are so-called known to be more of probably like a racially challenging area where you would think, uh, let me hurry up and get through here because I'm black. <laughs> and then you go through the town and you see so many mixed children and you go to Walmart and you're like, um, sorry, my light just went out on my computer. Um, you go to Walmart and you're just like, uh is this guy following me and then you're wondering like why are you following me and then they he hits you with the you have such a nice complexion and i'm like who are you talking to <laughs> you know because i'm like hey aren't you gonna get in trouble about that you know but i don't know i'm not um uh, i don't want it to make it sorry i'm watching videos but um I don't want it to, you know, we're not great getting to this race car, but I'm just saying um, that probably would be one of the most, like, people would think that, oh, I know, it's just black guys that you have to deal with that with and all of that. Let me see something. Okay, five minutes. But, um, no, it, it's, that that's probably been a little shocking out here for me, okay? Um, maybe not so much for other people, but, and it's not something that bothers me. I, like I said, I meet some great people. I have some great conversations. I found myself at a truck stop for like 30 minutes at a pump, 
talking to somebody I don't know. We don't exchange numbers. We don't even exchange sometimes names. Hey, what's your name? Well, it was nice meeting you and safe trucking out there and keep it moving. And it's just like, if I see you again, we'll remember this conversation. If not, happy trucking guy, you know, um, and it's just like that. You have people, you'll be like, dad, we kicked it. We had such chemistry, not on a date level, but just had so much chemistry that we stood up there talking to each other so long and we didn't even exchange information <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh then i have people i come out of the store and they run back up to my truck hey not sure if i ever see you again you mind exchanging numbers you mad cool i would just love to keep in contact know how your journey's going and things of that nature now whether that's the truth or not whatever it doesn't matter um no one can make you do anything you know but um yeah we have fun out here i would say there's probably a lot of flirting there are some hookups um, there is some people trying to make connections. Yes, that happens out here, but that's the general world. It is not overly bearing because you're in trucking. And um, a lot of times people just start talking just because trucking really is a community, people. And as much as sometimes we are rude to each other on the roads, we don't let the other one in because I got to go. Um, we fight for parking. It's still a community that we kind of have each other's back. We look out for one another. Um, we notice things that someone may be doing wrong, setting up wrong or backing wrong or, uh, you know, hey, you ain't pull up far enough. You're not going to be able to get your death because your truck is way the hell up there. And it's, you know, the death pump is back here. You might want to pull that back a little bit. Hey, go ahead and turn that way because you're about to hit this little pole right here. <laughs> you know, uh, we have that kind of love out here for each other. So not all of it is about hooking up. Some of it is about a person noticing that one person is newer than the other. Um, some people noticing that people are um, more of a vet than themselves and uh, they'll ask them questions. Sometimes people start conversation because you're trying, like me, one time I was trying to get the hood of, I was driving a Freightliner at the time and I'm trying to get the hood latched. And the issue was the elastic needed to be pushed forward so it could catch and then I could, well, one side was locked and the other was not. You will not believe this guy comes way from across the street. Uh, he's walking, but he was coming over with the intent, looking for some money for somebody to help him to prevent his truck from getting towed. And uh, he was like six bucks short. The guy wouldn't take a card, what have you. In the midst of all of that, do you know he stopped to help me? He looked and he's just like, you all right over there? And I said, well, no, because I got this one side hook, but I can't get the other side. So he said, well, and it's cold. My fingers are freezing. I have on gloves, but my finger fingertips are freezing. And he comes over. And so he was like, let me see. He was like, I bet I know what it is. And so he looked. And so he was like, I'll do And I said, no, I don't want you to do it for me. I want you to show me how to do it because you're not going to always be around. So he said, so look right here. And you want to get something to kind of push that. And it has the, you know, loop around or what have you. And um, so I let him take it back out. I tried it. And so then now I had a full understanding of what was going on with that one side. But there was no exchange. There was no hookup. There was no, hey, how are you dating? This dude was like, yeah, my truck about to get towed. I need $6, <laughs> you know, to add on to this change right here. So uh, it's different situations why people end up talking. And, and a lot of times, yeah, people are going to start talking to you because initially they think you're attractive. But it doesn't always turn out to be a hookup or a connection like that. You sometimes just gain great friends and through great friends and trucking, you definitely can get some good uh, advice um, and people shedding light on their experiences and things of that nature. So, And if there is a love connection, then hey, you're one of the blessed ones out here because although there are so many people trucking, so many women, so many men, there are very few quality uh, relationships being born out here in that world. Um, most truckers have someone at home hate to tell you newsflash ladies don't think you're so special i don't care how cute you are you're cute for the moment he has someone that he's already used to he has someone that he's already paying his bills his direct deposit is going there and all that good stuff so uh talk a little more before you start doing way too much because don't be upset when you find out you were for the moment okay and same thing guys i mean women get turned on by certain kind of men he could just have one you know he hopped out and got on his shorts and his tent see i always could tell my brothers from up top because it's a certain cold some of them just not gonna look like no typical you know 
uniform type trucker. They still in their gear. I love seeing that. I'd be like, nah, brother got it together. They get out the truck. They smell good. They look good. I'm like, wow, that is really, you know, that's mad cool. And that's not about hooking up with people. That's just like admiring people that they still keeping themselves clean and fly out here. And I think everyone should do that. So um, every now and then you see that. But most of the times you see people that you're like, um... You know you get a free shower every time you fill up, right? You know they don't care when you use it. Like, you could go in there now. Like, right after you finish. Honestly, believe it or not, you, you'll be like, uh, when's the last time you went home or anywhere near water? Like, wow. So, you got some of that. Then you got the one that he gonna probably be late for his load because he got the shower. He got to get his hair done. His beard got to be right. His dress need to be twisted. He, I mean, he's popping. You know, he's just that dude. You know, he's filling up with the, mm, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah, I've seen all of that. And, um, but anyway, you don't get harassed. Yes, you get uh, stairs, lots of stairs. You meet lots of people. Um, what I don't like is a lot of times some of the women won't speak to other women. I do see that. They will literally turn their head, especially if you carry yourself a particular way and you look. It's almost, I guess, if they feel like you're showing them up and they're looking a little scuffy and and you are looking like who she thinks she is, I guess. I don't know, but I don't know why women do that. Every now and then I run into them and they purposely will cross my path so we can speak. And they're so happy like, oh, snap, she got on pink. I got on pink. You know, I have my pink headset. I've seen women with the pink stir well as well. We're like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Are you good? All right. But a lot of times, not so much. Not so much. I, I be, I'm very surprised. Like, you get more love from the guys. That's just what it is. And I'm sure guys, vice versa, you guys got that macho thing going on. And some of the dudes are not as friendly to other dudes. And you get the women that talk to you more and flirt with you more because she might need your help. Or she's just more comfortable. And me, I just get along more with guys. That's just me. All my best friends are, are men. If women didn't even exist on this earth, I really wouldn't care. I'm just saying, I just, it's just a drama free world sometimes when you're just a female dealing with men. Um, cause I know how to be friends with males without sleeping with them, without being with them, without having a relationship with them. Uh, I know and have a lot of platonic relationships with dudes. So, and they're so much fun and I'm not judged and I'm like their little, you know, little sis and. I like that, you know, I don't have to deal with all that jealousy and bull crap that come with women. I mean, with girls, okay? Because real women, when you're confident in yourself, you don't care what another sister got on. You don't care what she rock, what she look like. You either going to say, hey, I like it or I don't. Ask her where she got it from. Or, hey, oh, I think I'm going to get my hair done like that next time. I like that nail color. I'm going to get that. That's hot. That's popping. But it's not jealousy. It's admiration. You know how to handle it. It has nothing to do with yourself. And it doesn't take away from you. It doesn't detract from her. So anyway, um, I'm wrapping this up, guys. So now you guys don't have to ask me that anymore. It's not a hookup industry. It can be, depending on how you carry yourself, depending on where you end up, depending on what type of trucker dude you run across, okay? But on the normal, it's just like being in your own city, going to the corner store, you know? You're going to turn some heads, some heads you're not. Some people, you're going to write the number, take the number, throw the number away, whatever, call it a day. All right, people, love you, mean it. Your trucker babe, the Jersey Girl for Life is signing out. Love you, mean it. Be better to yourself tomorrow than you were tonight, guys. All right, I'm tired. Your girl is ah.